Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Automation with the Light Campaign V4.0 Let's Play with Superico Incorporated and Dr. Hans-Dieter Krause, our, our legendary designer. And uh, yes, so what it is looking like is that our expansion will go through with um, great success. Uh, Basara is our expansion and we are going to build a uh, big uh, factory there, or rather, big plot, medium factory. And that is on the way now. And we shall see here car production, engine production, engineering, engine factory contract. That is... Yeah, the loan coverage is not quite there. And we do get paid out 36 million a month, but still, yeah, there's, there's a lot of, of costs coming down the line. But we do have plenty of income too. This, despite the massive uh, expenses, we do still turn a profit. And that is largely due to massive, 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 yes, I have used massive at least a massive number of times. The, the, the margin is fantastic. Yes, uh, superb, even. And, uh, and now we are making, uh, yeah, we, we need to make more cars, but that is what is supposed to be solved by expansion and what we are needing to do today is to make a uh, a new facelift of the Kakapo the Mark 5 this one is lasting a long time and that Mark 5 is going to sport our new engine our turbocharged MPFI dual overhead cam all aluminium engine <laughs> It is finally ready for production after going through three prototype stages. Yeah, and, and that is still an extremely modern engine despite all that. So, we're going to load it up and I think that is exactly what we are, uh, where we are starting now. This might take a little longer to engineer, but it will also carry us over nicely into the next um, lineup. So, they are all MK5s. Let's switch it out. Uh, edit engine project. No, we don't want to edit that engine project. I think this one is still running the... Uh, uh, is it? Let's see. This one is still the MFI version, I believe. Yes, it is. We are still running the mechanical fuel injected version of this one. 22% uh, fuel efficiency. That is impressive. Um, but we are now going to... Replace a variant, and that is this one. Yes, uh, single EFI, uh, sing single yes, exactly turbo, um, and that one. That's the single is for the intake, of course. Uh, what year is it now? I gotta check. This is this is a little stupid that you don't see the year at the moment. Should be should be maybe in here. Uh, I think that is something I've noticed before. Uh, anyway, so this is not a prototype anymore. Let's uh, just assume we are in 84 now and uh, replace the variant. We are in 83. Okay, even better. So 83 it is. Hans Dieter, the, this engine again. This engine, it is almost perfect. We have come such a long way. You know, you, you have come such a long way. Now it's just about tiny bits of fine-tuning to make it absolutely perfect go at it yes yes uh, I, I don't think we really can do anything about it so uh, the only thing I'm waiting for is our our engineers to discover the low low friction cast pistons because I, I don't know why they don't know about them it's it's simple technology you just make them all slinky and and have um, have some good alzi, uh, alzi on the outsides, and it's gliding very nicely, and does does decrease friction and improves efficiency. It's beautiful. But where is this technology? I can't choose it here. Um, so yeah, we we are going to check if we can, if we can make this engine even more efficient. I mean, 26.7 percent. Last time we already improved it so much that I don't think this is possible. But, uh, yeah, but that, this is what we've been waiting for. 
This has taken forever to appear. I was talking about this 20 fucking years ago. Yes? So, we need to have the ball bearing. And this game doesn't know what it actually does, but that is fine. Because, well, it's not fine, because our previous engine should have been better than this. Um, the ball bearing does not decrease the spool point of the engine. That is nonsense. This is... What, what it actually does in an engine is with, with a turbo is that uh, you, you have less turbo lag. But spooling is not turbo lag. This is on full throttle, you remember? This, this curve is measured on full throttle. What you would see the difference in between journal and ball bearing is when you are in a dynamic driving situation. There the, the spool would be a little faster because it's easier to spin up the thing. But if you're already in a steady state uh, of, of the maximum throttle and slowly increase it, this doesn't make any difference whatsoever. So now look at this. We have just found the golden, uh, the golden goose or rather the gold standard in in fuel efficiency because this has shifted everything down to my preferred rev range and that means you can be even more efficient and we can increase it further look at this oh my god 30 percent top top fuel efficiency this has been a dream of mine since very long time ago when i was a little boy and i i skipped school to to draw engines and their designs, I dreamt of something like this. 30% fuel efficiency. I, I didn't know it would be with my grandpa's technology, but uh, this is this is beautiful. I have no words. Also, we are increasing the compressor size slightly to give us a better ratio here. This is making it that it's uh, getting to uh, getting and staying at the, the maximum pressure uh, a bit, little bit better than before we were at 32 so there you see it's uh, this might be a little earlier but it's just not quite as as good yeah this is an interesting choice um, I, I know that this is this would be, be a lot better for me for driving around like because I'm I know exactly where I can be in my rev range and it can just give just give me 50 rpm to use and i will find the correct gear to use it in and we will get there eventually but this is probably if you look at how this plateau we have here is just expanding with the higher compressor numbers it's it's has a bigger efficiency plateau and this is more like where people are other people, stupid people, are driving their cars when they are cruising. Yeah, a lot too high. I think we can put another point into the um, quality of the fuel system. Because why not? And also, can we maybe increase the... Uh, does this even help? I don't see any change in the fuel efficiency. Oh, we are making way too much power though. This is a race engine. But it's... It's almost impossible to not make that much power. If you're this efficient, then that means it's all converted into power. And, well, I, I can't help it, but this is... It is as efficient as it gets. So maybe I should just have made the engine a lot smaller, like half size or something. But then the spool point would be more like 3000 RPM or so. And we don't want that, no. So I think we are done here. This is as good as it gets. And I have no more words for this. This is just beauty in engineering. And I, I'm the architect of this engine as it is the most beautiful thing in the world. While I have no clue what he wanted to say with that last thing, um, we, we'll just take it. We, we'll take it. This is a good engine, right? Uh, 6.3 liters. We're not making that great use of, of it, I guess. Uh, maybe the gearing can help because now we we have so much power that we can probably just use a massive overdrive gear. 6.3 liters, 100k. Oh, and with the engine becoming lighter, that is also... Uh, is it lighter? 
I believe it might be. Um, the other one was smaller, but this one is way more advanced. Maybe it's heavier because of the turbo. Anyway, the driving behavior has changed ever so slightly. We need to retune it. Just redoing the brakes and everything, staying basically where we are. This is all good. Uh, we do have some slight amount of brake fade, but going for vented, mm, is that really necessary? No, that makes the it makes the car worse. Yeah, it's just too expensive. Ooh, is this the time to uh, try and get in ABS? How much does that make a difference? No difference whatsoever. Yeah. So not really something I would like to get on with now. Though we do need the facelift somewhat soon. Mm. Yeah, and we I do only want to actually spend the time in optimizing production, like tooling and such, and not the uh, engineering of the individual components. Could also go for uh, advanced 80s, but again, that would take more time and just basically doesn't make any difference. All right, re-optimized the suspension. Uh, do they like this? Yeah, yeah, they do. A slightly higher ride height. Yep, that's all good. I think this one is now ready to go. So what is its performance? Uh, that, that is impressive. <laughs> that is really impressive. 27.8% fuel economy uh, efficiency, not fuel economy really, but uh, efficient engine efficiency, peak efficiency. Uh, let's just check out what we have in the detailed stats in our fuel economy for the cruise tests. Um, so if you are just driving along at 70 kilometers an hour, country roads, you're using 3.8 liters, 100k. That is very, very competitive. Ooh, yeah, one thing that I forgot about that makes this engine so much more of a, a selling point in the higher end segments is that it's still the 80s, it's the early 80s, and we have produced a turbo engine. And that really gets the prestige rating, ra rating soaring. And whew, that's a big jump in fuel economy as well, nice. It's super easy to optimize. Now, I've already gone through the van as well and optimized that, re-optimized it. Not many changes, but none were needed. So this is all going to be very quick on the engineering side. And of course, the changes are minuscule if you forget to switch out the engine. So um, let's do that now for the van at least. The, uh, the other one already had the correct engine. We do get lots better. The stats are just so much better with this engine. It's quite the jump. <laughs> a van geared to 294 kilometers an hour, but 5.9 liters per 100k fuel economy. Now that is something. 180 in light delivery. Beautiful. Now for the factory setup. Uh, it's going to be a little nasty on the engine side, but we can take that because it has to have a major retooling for the new engine. Um, but we have basically neglected updating the major tooling in a while, I believe. On the car side of things, everything is looking as if it's already in a very good place. Don't need any of that. Just keep it around. Can get it a major update next time around. Over 90 is still fine. You really see degrading effects once you drop below that. And yeah, this, what it does is that if you're factory building uh, gets worn down then its major tooling is worn quicker it doesn't get damaged outright but it's it wears quicker and the quicker your major tooling wears the quicker your minor tooling also wears and the major tooling uh, does decrease production quality if it's too low Whew, with, with these settings it's even higher even higher scores uh, we did want to optimize the tooling if we can. And um, how long should this take? I think we want to give the engine uh, a decent overhaul, um, or the rather the tooling for the engine. 5,000, 6,000 cars. Let's see how far we can get with a bit of additional tooling here. 6,300. Yeah, that's looking good. Um, 
funding is all the way up there. Probably we can pull that down a bit. This makes it a lot cheaper. 18, should we go for 20? Just aim for 20 months. There, it's a lot cheaper. Yep, yeah, this is looking good. 20 months. Let's see if we can get the engine there as well. Uh, ooh. There's a major retooling required for the engine factory. That will also take a little longer. Um, but, yeah. So we could up update the major tooling of the um, car factory as well if we wanted to. So, yep, yeah, let's tick it on. Uh, that is the factory we want to use. And let's see. We only need that. What is it complaining about? Uh, yes, we need to select a variant, of course. This one, please. This one looks just fine. 6,300. Oh, they look pretty well matched then. Um, because that is about as many engines as we were producing in the other one as well. We have to up... Wow, that's 180 million. For the retool, yep. But that is, that is required. Uh, while we're at it, we can equally well turn that one on and make the factory building all nice and clean. Uh, this engine will be used by the new car anyway. Hmm. Then the question is, well, as, as soon as this finishes, as soon as uh, th that this finishes engineering, we start the next one. And this is just 20 months down the line, uh, we start the next model to be put into this factory. And that means this should nicely align. Okay, so not too bad. Uh, do we want to change anything while we can? Don't really have to. This is at 100% efficiency with just one. Uh, that is all good. Worker wage, this is looking like decent production quality, of course. Very important. Let's sign it off. Oh, okay, good. So. We are getting there. We are getting there slowly. We have 20 months. Now, let's see how far we can get. Uh, 40 there. Process to 50, so we are normalized there. Uh, pressure, we can up this a little to 30. And now, let's see how far can we get in this. Ooh, not that far. 46, and reduce pressure again by one step. Mm. Reliability is not quite there yet. Reliability would be... Yeah, maybe we want, do want to have another few points in reliability instead. Wow, that is expensive. So... no, oh, wow, that is expensive. Everything is expensive. So, yeah, let's do one reliability point and then one extra point of pressure. That should fix it. Yeah, okay, decent update uh, to the engine. Now, finally, it is ready for production. 7,700 engines per month. That is more than enough. Uh, nine months worth of retooling. That means that this factory can't produce its old engine for nine months. That means, on the other hand, that we also equally well can uh, finally update the major tooling, if we wanted to, of the car. Although that will have to be updated. Oh no, that wouldn't have to be updated for the new model because it's the same. Only the minor tooling will, would have to change Mm, do we want to pay that extra price? I think no. No, we just leave it as this. Uh, okay, it's calculating massive margins, it looks like. All right, all good, all good. We are setting the factory to our standard settings. 20% margin at minimum. We are way beyond that anyway. Five and nine for the factories. And I think this means we are all set up and ready to go with this one. That is a pretty big update. Yep. Yep, yep, this is a total cost of 322 million. We don't need to have a loan for that. We just sign it straight off and we should be having that in 20 months. There it is. And that's still well ahead of this one. So we do get a nice um, overlap, uh, or rather non-overlap of engineering and uh, production so that we have something that sells and cushions the blow but yeah so this is looking all good and i think now it's just time to forward time Ooh, okay this is starting to look a little uh, bit more worrying as we are uh, more into the production itself and that's some 
pretty nasty costs we have here. Car production, that's all tiny. Loan and the Kakapo is doing 64 million. But of course, the factories here do take a lot. And this is just... Yeah, okay. So we are making a profit. But the loan cost itself and a little bit of other things are costing us a, a fair amount. So oof. this phase will also be nasty where there's all factories. <laughs> but uh, we do need to extend this one out to let's try to target 12 months so that it's just going full out production. Fortunately, the economy is coming back up. Oh, uh, we're just not building enough stock here. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on. Where, Where's my... Where's my new car? Why? Ah, oh, fuck. No, we didn't... Didn't build enough stock. That was not good. Now we have massive... Massive deficits we are running. And no cars to sell. Uh, ouch. Ouch, come on, get back online. Okay, that's that's a good start to the sales, that's for sure. But, of course, that is not covering it. Uh, we're still rated at A+, but this now needs to do really well. Why is it only... Oh, right, no, we are maxed out already. This is, this is a fair amount of cars being sold, but... This is not enough, is it? Well, we do have the new engine online as well. The hit points are refreshed, not for this one. Um, this is quite handy to see. I like it. Uh, anyway, we have another year to bridge of these costs. But we have paid most of it already. But still, this is not looking too good. That's, this is 10 month, months worth of deficit. Economy, sure helping us. Let's see if it keeps up. Oh, okay. Okay, now it has stabilized a little. That is good to see. So we are turning a profit once again. I've just waited another months, month, so we should waste no time from here to actually get the new car going. Now we are building 7,280 cars a month. Very nice. That's big profits right there. Um, we do need to design a, the successor to the Kakapo, and yeah, I think that is something we take on in the coming episode. I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time. <laughs>